My Pillow CEO Mike Lindell, who is a close Trump ally and friend, has previously stated that he believes, um, or rather knows, that Donald Trump will in fact be reinstated as president in the near future. And in a recent interview with some right wing news outlet, he purports to have more details about when Donald Trump will be reinstated. And he's also now claiming that many senators, Republican senators who lost, will in fact be reinstated alongside Donald Trump. Take a look. By the time August 3rd, the morning of August 13th, it'll be the talk of the world going, hurry up, let's get this election pulled down, let's right the right, let's get these communists out, of, you know, that they've taken over, that the, and you'll see, when I say that, you know, um, and they'll say, well, what's going to happen to all the people that were involved? I don't know right now. The biggest concern is getting this election pulled down. Donald Trump won. I mean, it's, it's pretty simple. Okay, and there were many down ticket senators too that they did too and stuff. You'll find all. So not only will Donald Trump be president again come the morning of August 13th, but many Republican senators who lost, illegitimately so because of the fraud, will also be reinstated alongside Donald Trump. Now, look, if we step back and we just watch that interview and assume it occurs in a vacuum, I think, man, I feel really bad for this individual. I hope that he seeks help because he's very clearly unwell. He's suffering from delusions of grandeur. The issue, however, is that Mike Lindell, the things that he says, they don't occur in a vacuum. These are things that are believed by the dominant faction within the Republican Party. So I can't just brush this aside and think, well, you know what? That's Mike Lindell being Mike Lindell. He sure is, you know, a, a crazy character, right? No, because these are lies that are believed by a substantial number of people in the Republican Party. Again, the dominant wing of the Republican Party. And the individuals who propagate these delusions they're also legitimized. It's not like, you know, this is some marginalized community within Trump circles. This is now becoming a common theme within Trump circles. If you look at any Trump rally and the interviews from them, CNN reporter Donnie O'Sullivan attends them, it's basically widely believed by like 90 to 95% of Trump supporters that the election was stolen from him. And sure, it's not the best sample because people who attend Trump rallies in 2021, they're going to be the biggest sycophants, right? So maybe the average Trump supporter doesn't necessarily believe that he lost illegitimately so, but such a large portion of people believe this that now it's to the point where democracy is in danger because so many people have lost faith in the process. And there's a number of reasons why people can actually doubt American democracy for a number of reasons, right? Voter suppression, our electoral system, the electoral college. These are all valid reasons to argue that American democracy is weakened. But to just claim that Donald Trump lost on fraudulent grounds, that is something that is uniquely dangerous to democracy. And folks like Mike Lindell, who propagate these lies, are being propped up by Donald Trump, not necessarily because they're delusional, but because they're loyal to Donald Trump. So in this faction within the Republican Party, they don't gauge whether or not to promote someone based on how accurate they are in their reporting or, or you know, the things that they say. It's all based on loyalty to Donald Trump. And so... If you say batshit crazy things, if you perpetuate these lies about the election or you make false claims, then, you know, so long as you're loyal to Donald Trump, you're going to be propped up because that's what he's looking for. Now, these lies peddled by Mike Lindell, they originate from the QAnon community. And an issue is that members of QAnon are being legitimized now. So as The Hill reports, Vice reports that two of the most influential QAnon figures, Jeffrey Peterson and his podcast co-host Shady Groove, were approved for media credentials. This is at a Trump rally. We are the news now, Peterson wrote on his Telegram channel, according to Vice. So these lies and people who spread these lies are being propped up as legitimate sources within the Trump community because they're saying things that Trump supporters who feel as if he did lose illegitimately uh, or feel as if he won, rather, however they're phrasing this, um, you know, they're saying things that they want to hear. And so this is dangerous. So I don't think that you can just easily dismiss things like this, lies being spread by obviously crazy people like Mike Lindell as, you know, that just being one person, because these things that are being said do not occur in a vacuum. When Mike Lindell communicates this message, 
to thousands, if not millions of people, that actually lands. People believe him. People think, after hearing him, that yes, it is the case that Trump will in fact be reinstated. It doesn't matter that Mike Lindell provided no evidence that this is the case, and reinstating a president isn't a thing that you can find in the Constitution, uh, but they hear him say something that they want to hear. And because of that, they're inclined to believe what he's saying, because they can't fight through the cognitive dissonance that Donald Trump lost, because... He lost, legitimately so, because he mishandled a pandemic for a number of reasons. He lost, but they don't want to hear that. So they cling to people who tell them what they want to hear. And for that reason, this is how these types of lunatics get propped up in the Republican Party now. And when you have the dominant wing of an entire party in a two-party system, mind you, believe these things, you know, the entire party itself has to play in it's you know there's a reason why you know republican lawmakers they really won't outright denounce the big lie i mean some do right but many of them will just brush it aside and it's it's deeply dangerous because now you have these folks clamoring for a coup thinking that that's the best way to restore democracy when in actuality they're against democracy by definition because they want an authoritarian coup to take place so look these things are absolutely deeply dangerous and i don't think that we should be so quick to just dismiss this as you know lunatics saying crazy things you know I i've done this in the past with alex jones i think you know what alex jones is crazy nobody believes him you know, it may be true that reasonable people don't believe him, but enough people believe him that it's dangerous and it affects democracy. It affects broader American politics. So um, these things have to be denounced. They should be, uh, you know, on their face, laughable. But that's not the climate that we're living in. And then we have to deal with what's in front of us. And it is the case that we do absolutely have to denounce these lies. It's incumbent on us to tell people, no, Donald Trump is not going to be instated, reinstated in August because I don't want them to get violent. I don't want them to, you know, um, believe the next lie that maybe he'll be reinstated in September because remember, he was supposed to be reinstated back in March and that never happened. So inevitably, when this date comes and goes, what are they going to do? I mean, are these people finally going to acknowledge that they've been duped and people who are grifters are using them? I mean, maybe some will, right? But not all of them will. And we have to do everything in our power to bring these folks back to reality. If we have family members who have succumbed to this QAnon cult, we have to try to reason with them. It's really difficult because they're not going to trust me. You can't show, show them this video and say, look, this lie is stupid because this person on camera said it. That's not the way that it works. Like this, this is a trust building process and it takes time to try to bring these people out of the delusions that they're feeling. And this is why we have to address this and continue to denounce it because it's not going to go away anytime soon. And it's, it's, it's not just that it's sad that these people are believing lies and delusions of grandeur. It's sad that this is impacting democracy. It doesn't just affect them. It, it affects all of America.